Nigeria's Vice President Yemio Shimbaju has restated the determination of Muhammad Buhari's administration to find a lasting solution to the security challenges facing the country. He said he remained optimistic that Nigeria will conquer its security challenges with new measures and policies that will be implemented as from now. Oshimbaju said this in Oshugbo after a closed-door meeting with traditional rulers in Oshun State. He said new policies adopted by the Buhari's administration to tackle insecurity include community policing and the setting up of neighborhood watch to complement the efforts of other security personnel. While answering questions from newsmen, the Onyo of Ife, Obadiye Yogunsi, said traditional rulers in the state are optimistic that the new measures being introduced by government will curb the incursion of criminals into the southwest. He also said traditional rulers have agreed to effectively monitor the implementation of the policies in the southwest for the attainment of desired results. The plans that we have for community policing, which is, a, uh, which is one of the methods of policing, that we have adopted, and I'm sure you've heard the Inspector General of Police talking about it. This would involve recruiting, lo recruiting policemen locally in their local governments and letting them remain in their local governments where they've been recruited so that they obviously will better understand the landscape and better understand their neighborhoods and places. And of course, uh, we also expect that they will be working with the Neighborhood Watch programs in, in the various states. And uh, in addition to that, uh, the traditional rulers, they constitute a very important part of that. As a matter of fact, they are the interface between the state government, uh, the, the state government's own security architecture, federal government's own architecture, the Neighborhood Watch and the community police. So we've tried uh, to look at how all of this will work, how all of this will work effectively. As you know, some of these issues are dynamic and we have to keep uh, ensuring that we're steps ahead of it. I'm very, I I'm very confident that uh, given a lot of what has been done already and what uh, the IG himself uh, intends to put in place, we'll be able to contain most of these security challenges without much problem. The program that the government have put in place we believe it's going to work. We are very happy about the program of Neighborhood Watch and then Community Policing, which um, we've been talking about for a very long time. And um, without Community Policing, we can't progress that much because we, we are kings and monarchs over various communities and they will work very closely and hand in hand with us. And um, above all, what is now key that government is going to put in place is uh, herald monitoring, monitoring all the forests in Southwest from the air on um, routine and occasional basis. We got commitment from government concerning that. And um, they will deploy more security operators to Southwest so that all the concerns and the fear of all citizens in the southwestern part of the country will come down. So those programs, we will monitor them very closely for implementation. It won't be a regular talk show. We don't want it to be to talk the talk. We want to walk the talk. This, is, this has to do with the traditional rulers. So we will give them very, very close monitoring for implementation. So we had a very good meeting. Also in a separate development, the Ondo State Governor, Rotimi Akiridolu, has ordered for arrest of any Fulani brandishing identity card as security task force anywhere in the state. Governor Akiridolu, who stated this in an interview with Newsman Nakure, said the state government will not fold its arms and watch any group of people to do anything unlawful in the state. He said there is no time he had approved the formation of Fulani vigilante group in the state has been insinuated in some quarters. Akiru Dolu explained that Doro meeting was held at the instance of the government and members of the Miyeti Ala in the state, where they unanimously agreed to form a committee that will see to the transportation and movement of headers across the state. Now we are the state 
add any hand in formation or give approval to the formation of Fulani Vigilante. And I've asked the police to rein in anybody who calls himself a vigilante or is carrying any arm. We have never approved of such. The governor, however, noted that the committee will also help identify headers who are involved in kidnapping, which might not necessarily be members of the Mieti ally in the state, to tackle insecurity headlong in the state.